There are over 150 boil water advisories currently in place on First Nations reserves in Canada, and more are being added every year. Our reserve, we have very high in cancer rates, death rates, very high diabetes. It is one thing that's in common to all the people on our reserve is water. It does kill people and mostly it kills the most vulnerable which happen to be the youngest and the oldest. It is the thought process that any water can be treated to make it drinkable and safe. That water may not kill you instantaneously, but it might be killing you slowly. So in our current system, if something is killing you slowly, then no action is required. Today it is viewed as a resource for financial gain. But to the native people of the land, it's sacred. It's a healing tool. To us, every little stream, no matter how small it is, has, has a, a purpose. And um, each one of those little streams has a spirit. One of our stories goes back to, um, or our history story says that there's going to be a time when the people are going to be buying water. <laughs> so that's, that's a kind of like a prophecy that was foretold to our people a very long time ago, right? And then, yeah, I drink most of my water from bottled water, you're right. When I was fishing with my grandfather and my uncle, my dad, they talked about the water warming up way back in the 40s. It was already warm, and I would say around mid-40s. And the indicator was the salmon were no longer in shallow water. They had moved into deep water where it's colder. So we knew then that the change was coming, but because we're not scientists or anything like that, we're not supposed to know about it. 